Welcome back to a new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I'll show you how you can create segmented control in Swift UI. As you can see, it's very easy. You can have three different views presented, page one, page two, and page three. You can actually have as much as you can fit onto the screen, so you can have more than this. And you can definitely create different actions based on what selection is done. So it's not limited to just displaying different views. So without further ado, let's just get started with this episode. Welcome back guys, so as you can see I've got an empty project here ready for us and the first thing I'll be doing is actually very easy and I'll go over here and I'll create another variable or a new variable and I'll call it segmented choice and I'll give that a value of zero. After that what I'll be doing is I'll go over here, I'll remove the text and I'll create a vstack instead. Inside of the vstack we're going to have a picker and we're just going to leave this empty and then followed by that we're going to have a selection and inside of here we're going to be passing that value over here so we're going to say segmented choice and basically the idea here is that every single time a selection is made what will happen is that it will update this segmented choice with the value that it was changed so let's keep going after this I'm going to be creating a bracket or sorry opening and closing a bracket and inside of here, I'm going to put the options that I want to display. So I want to have three different texts, one that displays page one, and one that displays page two. And you can probably guess what the third one will say. It will simply just say page three. Over here, I'm going to go and say tag and give it the value of zero tag and one and then tag and two and so basically every single time you click on any of these the segmented choice will get the value that's written over here so if someone clicks on page two then segmented choice will get the value of two after that what i'll be doing is simply just make it a little bit cleaner so i'll probably add some padding i'll type in dot padding and after that we can give it a picker style so this is the part that actually gives it the segmented control appearance. I'm going to put a dot and I'll pay picker style. Inside of here, I'm going to say segmented picker style, open and close a bracket. Awesome. So now if I actually run this app right now for you, what you will see is that we already straight away managed to create a segmented control and we can actually interact with it and click on it, but nothing happens. So just for this tutorial, let's actually continue working on the app and adding that extra functionality to it. So what I'm going to be doing is I will be creating three different structs. So I'll copy this. I'll go at the bottom here and say uh, page one, basically page one. And I'll change this to say page one. And we can remove this. And instead, just have a Z stack color dot green dot edges ignore all, and that way that that's just a page that's going to be presented. So obviously, you can create it in a new file, or you can even add any sort of information inside of that page one that we're going to be displaying. After that, I'm basically just going to be copying this page two, and let's change this to page two and then let's change this to blue finally we've got page three and I hope that you get the idea behind this at this point so page three we're gonna change this to pink there we go beautiful so we've got the three different pages over here now let's actually display them so I'm gonna go inside of the vstack over here and I'll write three different if statements and I basically say if segmented choice is equal to zero, then we want to display page one. So I'll basically just say page one, open and close the bracket. I'll copy this and I'll paste it twice. This time I'll replace that one with one, this one with two. Let's swap this with two. And then it would make sense to just change this to three. Beautiful. So now let's run this application and see whether or not our app or our code is working. So we're back over here. This is on running on my actual iPhone. And if I click on page two, you can see that it changes to blue. Page three, it goes to pink. 
and I can keep doing this as much as I want. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you did benefit from this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Now you can go ahead and use segmented controls. Thank you and see you in the next episode.